Good evening traders. This is Mike Rabinowitz at MR Strategies getting you at the 4th of April. This will be for the uh, tomorrow session, the 5th. Um, I've been off for a couple of days. I'm reviewing last week's activity and as usual the bull trend just continues to accelerate amazingly and it doesn't even look back. And I'm going to kind of come out and just basically say, I think, as usual, I believe that this kind of is getting a little ahead of itself. I'm not saying that this rally is not valid and it doesn't deserve to be up at these levels. It most certainly probably will and it probably should. I just think it's run up really hard, really fast, and it's left some pretty sizable gaps. I'm not sure how much of them you're going to get filled. I do expect us to at least come down and fill the gap from uh, Friday's settlement, which I'm showing at about 4,010. And this is for the ES, by the way. Um, there's another pretty sizable gap that goes from 39.85 down to 65, which was settlement, I think, on Thursday. So Friday, we gap tire, took off, and once again, overnight, we're, we're taking off again. And you know, once I, I just think, you know, this market is just priced to perfection. And I just would anticipate this thing to retrace a little bit, especially in the first two days of the week. That's usually when they do it and give us another good opportunity to get on board for the long, to get on board to the upside. So you can see right here on your 15 minute chart, um, you can see these trend lines are coming in. Uh, this 23 is probably going to be it's within striking distance. Actually, it is in striking distance right now, I believe. I know we're above it, um, but the the second trend line right here is coming in right at about settlement, and that should take care of that gap. This that they've ran up overnight. We'll have to just see how this plays out. They might just do it overnight, and I believe, and I'm not showing it now. I think the pivots for the daily pivot for tomorrow. I'm showing it up. Uh, 4,003. I might be wrong because uh, my charts haven't completely updated, so I'm not seeing the actual pivots for tomorrow. I calculated them. I'm showing 4,003 is the pivot. 4,022 is R1, and 39.91 is S1. I believe we might even be able to get all the way down to it. I do think we'll see the pivot tomorrow. I do, and I think we're going to have to see how the market reacts to that level. It's sitting at a key number. Once again, it's a round number, 4,000. It might hold up. It might not. It might cut right through it. Like I said, this market's a little ahead of itself. But it's a bull trend. It's legit. And, you know, you know, you want to be on board at a value location. And, you know, these are just way up there. And they're really ran these up pretty hard. In fact, overnight, they got them all the way up to 4038, which I believe is just actually it's i show it above r2 i might be off on that and you can see right here that that had an immediate uh reaction and this was actually a r2 reversal short but i don't really play it overnight it's a little thin i'd rather trade it in the morning when there's really good volume and deep good liquidity um once again, we're going to have to see how this plays out tomorrow. Um, we've got to take a look at the Dow. The Dow has actually ran up and made some new contract highs to, I believe, yeah, they got up to uh, 32,260, I'm showing. And we're sitting just a little bit below it right now. So let's just see how this plays out in the morning. Um, once again, I will look for a retracement down to the pivot, which is around 4,003, which will just be a little bit below settlement. In fact, there's another trend line right there. And then you got this big one all the way down here. And this is pretty much near the next gap fill. And this 76 area is just probably close to S2, which will be your second support level tomorrow if the market really falls out of bed. And then if it really does, if it comes anywhere, if it breaks hard under 3990, 
I would expect this thing to come down and fill the rest of the gap down to 39.65, but we're just going to have to see. That would be a pretty substantial break from where we're at right now. You're talking almost 50 handles. That would be Dow down about 500 points. So we're just going to have to see how this plays out. So uh, this is your overnight analysis for tomorrow's session for 4 or 5 for the uh, S&Ps. And um, I will check in in the morning to see maybe where this, how this played out overnight and give you a, a better uh, updated analysis for your morning session. You know, I'm making this call right now, and we still have a full night of trading ahead. Europe hasn't opened up. I, I, I got to assume that they're going to roll this over a little bit and bring it down, and then we'll see how the bigs play it in the morning. I could be dead wrong. They could be. They could keep ramming it. This market is just on autopilot, but it, it just get it's just getting a little ahead of itself. So you know, you're looking for the best value to get involved to the upside. You know, I'm not a big fan of waking up and buying it at R2. You know, unless there's an absolute powerful signal that confirms it. I just the same. Let it play out. Let them move it around a little bit, and then you know see what the big the institutions are doing and how they're going to play these higher highs and to see where they're going to get involved in and i like i said they're usually jumping on board at the location so let's see how this plays out tomorrow morning and uh hope you guys had a great weekend hope trading's been successful and feel free to reach out my email is mlbino at aol.com you want to talk about some of the stuff or get a game plan for your own personal trading, feel free to reach out to me. I can work. I can put together something for you pretty much in all markets. They all play out relatively the same. If you play the game this this way from the areas, for using your moving averages, etc. So you have a good night, and I'll check it with you guys in the morning.